This conference will now be recorded. Okay, in this session, we are creating tab strip with wizard. Tab strip with wizard. And in this tab strip with wizard, we have uh, something called C is equals to A plus B. This is what we want to we want to calculate. And in the tab one, we're going to have A and B values. And tab two, we have C value. This is what we have in the tab strip. So let's do that now. It's that. We have this ZBA underscore tab strip and uh, clicking on create. And uh, here we have this as module pool. CC. At this point, if I click on Z1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Save it. Save OK. And now uh, we will go ahead with uh, just two values here data a of 10 and, uh, and b of 10 and uh, these two things uh, two fields i'd like to take it as a character oh if you i mean like we have to have some numeric so we can also take it as a number because we are calculating something there so and then we have c as well c of 10 type n that's it. So these are the three values that we are declaring in the program. And then back, make sure that you're back. And we have this is the program name. We copy it and uh, take it forward into SC51. In the SC51, we are going to give the same program name which we have done there. And 100 screen, create, new tab strip. Then we have flow logic. In the flow logic, we just need to uncomment this process before and process after input. And then we just need to double click on this. And we all know that it doesn't work if the program is already in the edit mode. So we need to make sure that the AC38 program is closed. Yes. And double click on this and say yes. Name program. Say OK. Save it. And once it's done, you can go ahead and We'll write the logic later. So I've just created them. Save and back. Now we'll go into the layout. I think it's not very supported here. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I guess like uh, in this server uh, we have some GUI issues, I guess. So let me do the same for the in others other system. Okay, so once we open our uh, screen, the layout screen. So here we just have to click on this uh, table control with wizard. Table control with wizard. And we just have to click on continue. And TC1. Continue. And here we'll give this uh, name of this table control as something like table control, tab strip control, tab strip control, TS1, tab strip control 1. Continue. Yeah, so this happens to be the two T tabs. Okay, so I'll give it as tab 1 and tab 2. I'll give it as tab 1 and tab 2 and click on continue. After giving tab 1 and tab 2 in this, we'll click on the continue. Okay, in the back, we have given the tab strip name as TC1. Okay, and it can be anything. Tab strip control 1 is what I'm giving here. And uh, then here we can give, give it as tab 1 and tab 2. And then continue. And automatically, the two sub screens get created here for this particular uh, screen. And click on continue again. And this is continue again. Complete. So we have this tab 1 and tab 2. Now we will click on this push button just for exit button. It's good to have uh, the exit button, it's always mandatory. So it will come out of the screen. Come out of the screen. Save it. And uh, FCD code is something which we need to update here. We need to update the FCD code as EXT. Save. Okay, now here we have this and uh, tab tab one. In tab one, we have the screen name as TC one A. TC1 SA here. This is automatically created. And then tab 2, we have TC1 tab 2. This is TC1 tab 1 and TC1 tab 2. And when you click on this, this is a subscreen area. SCA is auto generated by the system. That's called subscreen area. SCA stands for subscreen area. This is what we have done now. And what I'm going to do is we are going to go back and design something in those subscreens. So we have by default two subscreens have got created here. Those happens to be 110 and 120. Okay, this is done. Save. Now what you have to do is you have to just check for the screen numbers that got generated. When we are creating the tab strip, by default there will be two screens, subscreens that get created. Uh, that those are 101 and 102 so i'll go into the 101 screen and change because it's already there and we just need to uncomment these two modules and double click on this this is a subscreen area so we're designing it for subscreen area here save save back then after input it's okay say yes in main program and then save it and once it's been done back to the screen and click on the layout this happens to be the subscreen area and it's coming small because this is the size of the uh, subscreen area that we have in the main screen okay so here i'll give something like um, i'll click on this dictionary tab and then here we'll click on get from program 
get this A and B on the screen, uh, screen, subscreen area one. So we have We'll write this as text one. First number text two. This happens to be text two. Second number. That's it. so. These are the two things that we have here in this subscreen. All that we have to design is this one. That's it. And uh, we'll go back and design the subscreen area two. That happens to be one zero two screen. The subscreen area one, and we'll go ahead and create the subscreen area two. Uh, once it's been done, we'll come out of it. Okay, so we already done, we created this, uh, recreated this modules in the program. So we'll come out of it and go to the 102 screen. Create, sorry, change. 102 change. Now this again happens to be another subscreen area. And these modules happens to be the same as we have in 102 one screen so if you double click on it it automatically takes you to the uh, pre uh, created Th these were created just now uh, you know for 101 screen so this by default will be there in the program so you don't have to create them again but let's go to the layout now back so these module names are same as what we have in the 101 screen so 101 and 102 subscreens both subscreens we have same modules so Click on layout. Now here, this is the screen that we have. Click on click on the layout, and we have this screen here. And in this screen, we have to actually get this uh, values here. The second screen. In the second screen, we need to get the click on the click on this uh, icon, and we just need to go ahead with C here. We need to set the C in the sub screen area too. Just say OK. And come get it here. So in the 101 screen, we have A and B uh, been assigned there. We have given A and B here, and the result. Okay. So you can write this as text three. And we can have this as sum of two numbers is something like that. So we can write this text here. In the subscreen area two, that's it. Save and back. So we can activate it now here. Now back again. So this is done. And when we go back to our hundred screen, we just need to write some logic there. And uh, the logic have to be written in our program. So let me go to the hundred here. This is not active, so we just need to activate this. In the handle, we have this process, process model status output and model status input. Here, in the input of first screen, so we just write here. C is equals to plus B. and now this happens to be this is all SAP generated uh, default code here say syntax shift activate now once it's been done once the activation is done 
so we can create a transaction for this Here we are calling the hundred screen. Save this. And once it's been done, you can go ahead and execute this. Uh, let me try 10 and 20. Click on tab 2. We got the value as 30. So, this is a simple uh, project in which we are. Um, you are, you are working around with the tabs, working around with the tabs.